بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Dear students, Assalamu Alaikum and welcome to the course of communication skills. Dear students, this is lecture number 24 and in today's lecture we are going to study types of reading. I'm your teacher Muhammad Asif Khan, lecturer Department of English, Kohat University of Science and Technology. First of all, we will look at uh, the discussion agenda. Today, I will review the definition of reading, which we have studied in the last lecture. And after that, I will, uh, will start uh, the discussion on uh, the four major types of uh, reading. And uh, these types are intensive reading, extensive reading, skimming, and scanning. So in this discussion, you will be very much clear about uh, these types. Sometime analysts, they named these types uh, as uh, the reading strategies. So this is the discussion, starting from uh, the definition of the reading. Reading is uh, basically that ability of an individual in which he reads, comprehend, and interpret written words. Wherever he find these words, either he find these words on a page of an article or any other reading material, he has that capacity or he has that ability to read, comprehend and interpret those written words. In an, another way, we can define reading skill as uh, that capacity of a person in which he decodes written language and text and uh, he comprehends uh, and interprets its meanings. So there are two side-by-side -side, uh, abilities. Uh, in the first uh, step we see that reader decodes the written language and in the second step we see that uh, he comprehends the idea that is uh, coded uh, in that very text and after that he has ability to interpret its meanings. So reading is defined as cognitive process that involves decoding symbols and uh, the aim of uh, that decoding is to arrive at meanings. So these are the definitions of uh, reading. Now let's uh, move uh, towards uh, the types of reading and uh, first of all I will discuss uh, intensive reading and extensive reading. I will give you the definition of uh, these types of readings and uh, the first type is intensive reading. Basically intensive reading means to read long or short texts but carefully. There is no restriction that you are reading a long text or short text but the restriction is that uh, you read that very thing carefully and deeply. And the aim of uh, this uh, careful and deep uh, study of uh, the text is uh, to have uh, the full understanding of that text. Therefore, intensive reading is reading for specific information and we see that reader concentrates on specific vocabulary. On the other hand, we have uh, extensive reading and uh, extensive reading means uh, to read large and long amount of text. But uh, we see that uh, here the aim of uh, the reader is uh, to have uh, the general understanding of the topic. In extensive reading, the reading is for player or reader chooses uh, material independently. He is not bound as we see that in uh, intensive reading. We see that the reader concentrates on specific vocabulary and he is reading for specific information. Extensive and intensive readings are both common approaches to read a text effectively. We see that these two are types of reading and also approaches or we can also name them as strategies of reading. For the clear distinction between these two types and for further explanation, I will give you the purpose of intensive and extensive reading. Purpose of intensive reading is, as uh, we have read in the definition, it is done when the reader focuses on understanding the topic deeply and from all angles, from all aspects. 
we see that uh, it is done when reader is trying to gain maximum knowledge that is possible by understanding the literal meanings of the text. So what he is doing, he is focusing on understanding the topic and that understanding is not superficial understanding. He is trying to get uh, the deep understanding of uh, that text in which he covers all the angles and all the aspects of that text. On the other hand, the purpose of extensive reading is that uh, it could be done for journal information, just for getting uh, awareness or even for getting player. We can say that the purpose of extensive reading is uh, to gain information or just uh, to get uh, awareness of certain piece of information or uh, the purpose of extensive reading could be that uh, that person or that individual is reading for player. So these are the purposes of extensive reading. So now let's move uh, towards uh, the material which, uh, which could be used uh, for intensive and extensive reading. We see that uh, material which is uh, being used in intensive reading or the material which is studied or which is read by intensive reading is academic books. From that I mean that academic textbooks or the material that is recommended by the teacher because in that reading he is focusing on the specific information and that reading is not being done for the sake of player or just uh, for gaining information of that topic. On the other hand, we see that the material for extensive reading that would constitute uh, from uh, the daily newspapers or the novels or the magazines or any piece of information on the internet which uh, the reader is reading. But uh, you just uh, think about that. In extensive reading, reader is not reading these daily newspapers or novels or magazines or uh, the information that is available on the internet for the sake of uh, deep understanding of that topic. We see that he is doing all these things for the general understanding of the topic and uh, that understanding uh, may be for the sake of uh, the awareness of that topic or, or it may be even just for the player's sake. So we see that in the second type, the material which is being used uh, for extensive reading is from uh, the daily newspapers novels, magazines and any piece of information. But uh, here I want to tell you that uh, if someone is doing research on these very topic then he is uh, going to focus on uh, deep understanding of uh, that topic uh, as uh, some of the researchers are doing then that very reading is uh, not extensive reading. Even researchers uh, who are doing research they even do intensive reading of uh, the daily newspapers, or novels or magazines or the different piece of information that are available on the internet. Now I will give you a comparative study of intensive reading and extensive reading and in this way you will get uh, the better understanding of the topic. First of all I will uh, define the word intensive. The word intensive is uh, an adjective and it means concentrated on a single subject or concentrated on a single area. On the other hand, we have uh, the word extensive and uh, in the same way it is also an adjective and it means covering or affecting a large area. Now I will uh, define these two types to you and by this comparison you will be able to understand the real meanings of these two types of uh, reading. The first one is intensive reading and intensive reading means reading in detail and here we see that this reading in detail is with specific learning aims and tasks. So what the reader is doing, he is reading in detail and his reading is for specific learning. His aims and tasks are very clear and specific. On the other hand, extensive reading involves the reading of the text for the sake of enjoyment and to develop journal reading skills. In the same way we see that uh, intensive reading means to read long or short text but here the reader is uh, very much careful and he is doing deep analysis of that uh, text and uh, he is doing that careful and deep analysis for the sake of full understanding of uh, that piece of uh, text. 
On the other hand, we see that extensive reading means to read large and long amount of text, but for the general understanding of the topic. In intensive reading, we see that there is a careful, deep and detailed reading with specific aims and tasks. On the other hand, extensive reading is for the sake of enjoyment, for the sake of uh, journal information or journal understanding of the topic. Now let's uh, further explain the concept of uh, intensive reading and extensive reading. We see that intensive reading refers to reading about something very closely and deeply. On the other hand, we see that extensive reading means reading from multiple sources. You are not focusing on the single available material and you are not uh, just uh, analyzing that very thing. You just read uh, any material which is available to you on any topic. You are not specific and you are not focusing on one text, available text. In the same way, intensive reading is known as uh, reading deeply and focuses on the depth of understanding of uh, a topic. On the other side, we see that extensive reading is usually known as reading widely and it focuses on the breadth of understanding. So in intensive reading, reading is for the depth of understanding. And uh, in extensive reading, we see that focuses on the breadth of understanding. So I have highlighted these two things that in intensive reading, the focus is on the depth and in extensive reading, the focus is on the breadth of understanding. So intensive reading would mean deep analytical reading in qualitative terms, whereas uh, extensive reading would mean that a person is reading in volumes and he is uh, thus uh, reading quantitatively. So intensive reading is qualitative reading whereas uh, extensive reading is quantitative reading. So in intensive reading, quality matters and in extensive reading, quantity matters. So that is the difference. For further explaining uh, the concept of intensive reading, extensive reading, I will tell you that in intensive reading, reader visualize every word and he gets involved uh, with the text and he pay attention to the micro details of the content. So these are uh, the characteristics of uh, intensive reading in which the reader is visualizing every word and he is uh, involved with the text. He is very deeply and carefully studying uh, that piece of text and he is paying attention to every micro detail of the content. On the other side, we see that in extensive reading, reader does not pay attention to the micro details of the content and he just reads to have the general idea of the topic. So the concept of uh, intensive reading and extensive reading is that in intensive reading, the reader focuses on vocabulary and grammar to understand the text and reader does word-to-word -word reading. Reading is very slow here and uh, we see that uh, reader reads for a hundred percent understanding and here we see that reader is doing limited reading he is not going for very large amount of reading. So in intensive reading, reader often reads difficult texts. On the other hand, we see that in extensive reading, reader focuses on the main idea and uh, the sub details that are filling in details. Second to this is that reader does fluent and rapid reading and uh, reading is uh, here very fast and we see that reader reads for overall understanding of uh, that topic and he is not trying to get 100% understanding of the topic and uh, the reader is doing a lot of reading in this very type of reading and in the end I will say that in extensive reading, reader often selects or chooses easy text uh, for this type of reading whereas in uh, intensive reading, reader chooses difficult texts. So what are the advantages of intensive and extensive reading? The first advantage of uh, intensive reading is that it helps in vocabulary building. Whereas uh, in extensive reading we see that it helps learner to build reading speed. In uh, intensive reading we see that reader learns sentence structures 
whereas the benefit of extensive reading is that it improves fluency of the readers. In intensive reading, readers pay attention towards linguistic or semantic details, whereas in extensive reading, extensive reading enhances journal language competence of the reader and it develops the journal or the world knowledge of the reader. Whereas in intensive reading, we see that the reader pays attention to the grammar and discourse markers of the text. In extensive reading, the advantage is that it helps to improve the writing skill of the reader. So these are the advantages of intensive and extensive reading. So up till now, we have discussed the different aspects of intensive and extensive reading. Now let's move towards the two other types of reading and these types are skimming and scanning. So I will start from skimming. Skimming is basically rapid reading and this reading is being done in order to get journal overview of the material. And it is very closely associated with extensive reading and sometimes the experts of reading they list uh, skimming and scanning as uh, the subtypes of extensive reading but uh, here I am dealing them as uh, separate entities and uh, I will give uh, the detailed explanation of both concepts the concept of skimming and scanning. So skimming is reading rapidly and this very reading is uh, being done in order to get the journal overview of uh, the material. Uh, we can also define skimming as uh, just reading now let's uh, see the types of skimming but before that uh, I will give you one another definition of skimming and skimming is the process of uh, quickly viewing a section of text and uh, this is being done to get journal impression of the author's main argument, themes or the ideas which he is presenting. So what reader does when he is skimming? In this process, we see that he is very quickly viewing a section of the text and from that he gets the journal impression of the author's main argument or the themes which he has presented or the main ideas which he is presenting in this very text. So there are three types of skimming. The first one is preview skimming. And the second one is overview skimming and the last one is review skimming. So I will give you the explanation of uh, these concepts one by one starting from uh, preview skimming. It is uh, most often followed by detail reading and we see that uh, preview skimming is often uh, being used uh, in selecting a book or when uh, a reader is serving a chapter before reading or studying that chapter or he is trying to find appropriate material that is uh, to be used uh, in research or reader is trying to sort uh, through correspondence before answering that very correspondence. So reader does preview skimming before selecting book, before serving a chapter or when he is trying to find appropriate material before his research or uh, or if he wants to, to answer the correspondence, he is just going through that very material. So that, that is uh, the use of preview skimming. And uh, we see that uh, in uh, preview skimming, an effort to, to learn about the ideas presented and structure of their development is being done by the reader. So the method which is being applied uh, during preview skimming is that uh, the reader read the first paragraph and uh, he just focus uh, on the headings and the first sentences uh, of the later paragraphs and sections and in this way he just to get uh, an idea about uh, that whole text that uh, is it uh, good to read or not. So after preview reading we have uh, the second type and that is overview skimming. After preview skimming we have uh, overview skimming we use overview skimming to sample the reading material more thoroughly than we do in a preview skimming. We know that uh, 
uh, here also reader is not uh, intending to read uh, the material at uh, that very time and he is uh, just uh, postponing that very activity for some some other time so method for uh, the overview skimming is very similar to preview skimming and uh, we would read the first paragraph and uh, then look at the headings at the first sentences of the paragraphs and the sections but uh, the special thing is that uh, in addition to reading the first paragraphs and headings and and the first sentences of the paragraph we see that uh, the readers uh, alternatively read and skim and uh, he alters uh, himself to the structure and the content of the material through an awareness of the paragraph patterns through transitions and the clue words he just uh, focuses on paragraph patterns being used in that very text and uh, the the thought transitions being done in that uh, very material and the clue words uh, which he already determines that uh, how these uh, words uh, would be beneficial when he is reading the whole text now let's move uh, towards uh, the third uh, type of skimming and that is review skimming in this we see that uh, the purpose uh, of the reader is uh, to review skimming and uh, to refamiliarize uh, himself with the material that is previously read uh, either thoroughly or uh, he has skimmed that very material but here he is reviewing that uh, material but not in detail he is just doing the review skimming so method for uh, review skimming is that uh, you should prepare yourself by trying to remember as many of the ideas and details you have uh, clear in your mind and it may be that you already have a good grasp of the main ideas and uh, if you have it will be stopping primarily to note significant details like the names of uh, the person or the places or the terms which are significant one you just stop and note down these very details and the last uh, step is that you may be trying to establish in your mind a sequence of the events or the procedures uh, that are being described in that very text or you may be attempting to fill in the, the skeleton outline to clarify the structure of the whole text so in this uh, review reading you are uh, going through or you are review skimming the material you previously read thoroughly or you just skim that material so these are the three types and uh, these three types of skimming are preview skimming overview skimming and review skimming now let's move uh, towards uh, the last type of uh, reading and that is uh, scanning and scanning is also rapid reading but uh, we see that uh, it is different from uh, skimming that because uh, in scanning reading is being done in order to find specific facts reader scans to quickly locate specific information like some specific words or he is looking for some numbers names or key ideas that are being presented in that uh, text or he is uh, trying to find out the answers uh, to the specific uh, study questions so the method uh, which is uh, normally being applied for scanning is that uh, fix clearly in your mind what you are looking for uh, you should have very clear mind that what specific facts you are finding in this very text and what are the details you are looking for so anticipate how the information will look you just visualize that very thing that uh, how that information will look and then run your finger down the middle of uh, the page or the backward and forward across the page and let your eyes follow seeking uh, the particular targets and you will find uh, those words uh, those numbers or names or ideas or the details uh, or the answers uh, which you are trying to find out so this is the method of uh, scanning and uh, here i will give you some examples that how you can identify or how you can look for uh, different uh, details in the in the text for example if you are looking for names places or titles then look for the visual clues provided by the capital letters if you will focus on the capital letters because uh, most of uh, the names and places and titles are 
starting from the capital letters when you will look for these capital letters it will be very easy for you to identify the names and places or titles if you are looking for some distance or dates then you should look for the visual clues provided by the numbers or the words such as miles meters minutes or hours if you are looking for some idea anticipate the words that could be used to state that uh, idea if you will anticipate that word it will be very easy or either it will be very close uh, that you will find the same type of statements and same type of words being used for that idea if you are looking for some relationship maybe these relationships uh, are expressed after such clue words as thus consequently or as a result of these are the, some of the clue words which i have given and some other visual clues and uh, some other ideas of anticipating the words i have given to you in this way you can also develop uh, other strategies to scan uh, any specific information or facts uh, which you are looking for so when you start looking for information you should use methods uh, that are mentioned uh, here in this very slide until you find that very thing then you just read as much as you need to answer your question instead of going for the whole detail you just uh, read that very thing which uh, are necessary for your questions so dear students uh, that is uh, the whole discussion about uh, types of reading in this uh, lecture i have explained uh, the concept of four types of reading the first one is uh, intensive reading and the second one is extensive reading uh, we also discussed uh, the main concept of skimming and scanning so i hope that now you will be clear about these four types and it will be very easy for you to use these uh, strategies in your daily life so thank you very much for listening passionately i hope that now you will be having a better understanding of uh, these concepts thank you very much